E.E. E. Smith alum Julian Brown says he's been walking the walls of E.E. E. Smith High School for more than half a century, so it's been hard to watch its decline in recent years. The brick and mortar has uh, is, is been there since the 50s. Uh, we had issues with Wi-Fi strength being strong on one side of the building and not. Air conditioning. Uh, not the same because they've done patchwork. We've had asbestos problems. Before the pandemic, Cumberland County Schools estimated that constructing a new school would cost about $90 million. Now it says that number has nearly doubled. Some saying it's better to build now. The longer we delay, I believe the higher the cost will be. But the estimate is giving others pause. $160 million is almost half of the budget for a capital improvement plan of 100 schools. And all I'm just saying is it's going to affect, it's going to affect a group of people, a very small group of people. We just can't discount the other 90% of students. CCS responded to the concerns about the cost estimate in a statement saying the projected cost of the new high school aligns with what other districts are paying across the state. This process could take a couple of years and involves lots of communication between the school system and the local county government. Of course, we would seek their guidance and approvals along the way. The rebuild budget still has to be voted on by the Board of Commissioners. In Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.